In today's episode, you'll learn whether you should create an LLC for your podcast. Welcome to Podcasting Q&A, where you'll learn the best tips and strategies to launch, grow, and monetize your podcast. This week's question comes from Jared. Hi, this is Jared Hawking, host of the All Things Connected podcast. I love your show and find it very useful. Thank you for all that you're doing. At what point does it make sense to incorporate your podcast as a business or 501c3? For example, if you're spending money on advertising, that could be considered a business expense. If it's an educational podcast, it could be a nonprofit. Do you have any advice here? Thank you. Thanks for your question, Jared. Now, before we start today's episode, just a disclaimer, we are not legal or tax experts around here. We are podcasters, but we have formed a few LLCs in our time. So first, let's take a look at the 501c3. Now, 501c3 does give you tax-exempt status. However, there are a lot more legal requirements and paperwork that you ought to fill out and file to be able to start and maintain one. So because of the challenges, for most podcasters, it's actually easier to form an LLC. Let's go over the basics of what an LLC actually is. So LLC stands for Limited Liability Company, which is an agreement between you, the owner, and the business, the podcast. So the idea is to separate your personal assets from your business assets. So there's a layer of protection there, which we'll get to later in this episode. Yes, there are also tax benefits, like you can deduct marketing costs and production costs. So in theory, when it comes time to file your taxes, you're paying less of it. That being said, it doesn't mean it's the right choice for you. So before you go and spend gobs of money on a legal expert or a tax expert and trying to start filing the paperwork, let's take a look at some questions that you should consider before filing an LLC. So question number one is, do you want your podcast to be more than just a hobby? So in other words, are you planning to monetize your podcast? Are you planning to make some money from your show? And if the answer is yes, then it might be a good idea to form an LLC so that you can take advantage of those tax benefits. Question number two, is your podcast meant to support or is a part of your existing business? So for example, let's say you have a consulting business and you wanna start a podcast as a marketing tool to help you generate leads and hopefully customers for your consulting business. Now in this case, if you don't already have an LLC for your consulting business, it's probably a good idea to form one and having a podcast is even more of a reason to create an LLC. Question number three, does your show have a co-host or is it part of a podcast network? Now, if you're flying solo, your podcast is just a hobby, you're not really sure what you want to do with it, the whole question of whether or not you should create an LLC can be left to the side for now. However, if you have a co-host or your show is part of a podcast network, forming an LLC will give you a framework in which to navigate that relationship so you can both really understand what your legal rights are and give you a lot more clarity. So for example, do you and your co-host have 50-50 ownership stake? What happens to the money that you earn? Or if you're part of a podcast network, does the podcast network own part of your show? What happens to the profits or the money that you earn then? These are all questions that are really useful to answer before you enter into any business relationship. Question number four, has your show been around for a long time or are you just starting out? Like we mentioned earlier, an LLC is to provide a protective barrier between you, the owner, and the business, the podcast. So the idea is it reduces your liability in case something happens that's out of your control. Now, if you're just starting out, you don't have a lot of listeners, so the chances of that happening isn't that high. Now, however, if your show has been around for a long time, you have a lot of subscribers and listeners or even a huge fan base for your show, then it might be a good idea to form an LLC just in case something does happen. Question number five, do the benefits outweigh the costs? Yes, forming an LLC can reduce some of your tax burden, like if you want to deduct that new microphone that you got. 
But don't forget, filing and maintaining an LLC also comes with its own costs, right? There's a filing fee for your state. It could even be fees for the attorney to help you file these documents. If you need a registered agent, that might come with its own fees. If you wanna create a separate address or have a PO box for your business, that comes with additional fees. Or if you're really unsure what you need to deduct in your business and you need to consult an accountant or a CPA, that comes with its own fees. So all of that can really add up. So if you're just looking to deduct a couple hundred dollars from your business, it might not be the best idea. However, you're planning to do something like launching a course or monetizing your podcast in a much bigger way, then creating an LLC can be a great idea. Ultimately, there are a lot of factors to consider whether or not you should create an LLC for your podcast. Now, it's really difficult to tell what your individual needs are, so your best course of action is to find a local attorney who can walk you through the option so that you can make the best decision for you and your show. Thanks for sending us your question, Jared. Now, if you have a question you would like for us to answer on a future episode of the show, head to speakpipe.com slash buzzsprout or click on the link in the show notes and leave a brief audio message. Podcasting Q&A is available in both video and audio format. If you like video, please subscribe to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel. And if you prefer audio, Podcasting Q&A is available in your favorite podcast app. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. And as always, keep podcasting.